This is Chris Elliott with Remax Action Real Estate coming at you this week with another real estate quick tip. So today we're gonna to be talking about first impressions when selling real estate. Um, and the reason I wanted to shoot this video is uh, in the market that we're in, which is very much a seller's market, we're in a very hot market, um, or we are at the time of this recording, probably still will be when, uh, when this video airs. Um, you see a lot of agents and you see a lot of home sellers getting away from best practices and selling homes just because in the market that we're in a lot of times a, a, a market a good market will tone for a lot of real estate sense and uh, a lot of the uh, the errors or, or you know not best practices uh, folks tend to get away with them just because the market being as hot as it is now these homes are still selling but they may not be selling for uh, top dollar as much as they could be if they follow these best practices so what are we talking about there's four areas that I want to go through with you as far as where you need to make a good first impression when selling real estate. Uh, I heard a, uh, a wise man say one time that you only get uh, one shot at making a first impression. That's very true too uh, when it comes to your home and you're hitting the market. And uh, the reason that we wanna make a great first impression is typically what we'll see is when homes, uh, the greatest opportunity for a home to sell for full price or above full price is within the first you know, seven days of it hitting the market just because it's brand new, it's fresh, uh, there's a lot of attention on it, but also the buyers uh, tend to have a, a scarcity uh, mindset, or not scarcity, a, a fear of loss, uh, just that they're gonna lose that property out uh, to another person. Whereas after the first seven days, that generally wears off and they realize that, hey, I'm probably the only one negotiating, I'm probably the only person uh, you know, making offers to the seller so I can afford to negotiate a little bit more. But anyway, let's jump into it. So where's the first area that you need to make it a good first impression? Is, is with the condition of the property. Uh, I see it all the time where you see properties listed in the multiple listing service and you know the property just isn't ready to go to market and a lot of times you'll see comments of hey you know sellers are going to be replacing the carpet or we're going to be painting this wall or we're doing x y and z to the bathroom but it's not done yet. The problem with that is, is buyers do not have imaginations. Most people don't have imaginations when they're looking at real estate. So once they see a property that's subpar, so to speak, uh, in a certain area, a lot of times they'll just discount that property, they'll forget it. The, the image that stays in their mind is the property in its current condition, uh, which is less than, than optimal. Um, and folks just tend to move on and won't come back to a property because they feel like they've already seen it before. Uh, the second point, and kind of ties into the first one, is with good photos. Um, I see it all the time where, you know, people will go ahead and post listings in the MLS or they'll post it online, you know, selling it by themselves and they've got cell phone video, uh, cell phone photos, the, the angles are terrible, the lighting is terrible and I've seen many of, of great homes where you actually go and look at the house and it's a really nice house but you wonder how many opportunities they miss because the property just really doesn't show well online and buyers will just move on. 96% uh, of home buyers start their real estate search online. So if the photos don't capture their attention, if you don't have great high definition photos done by a professional photographer, uh, you're really missing out. I recommend it to do with everybody. If you're hiring a real estate professional to sell your house, that should absolutely be something they would do. Or I honestly, I wouldn't even entertain talking with them uh, about their services if that's not something that they're offering. Um, and once again, photos speak a thousand words. Uh, this, the third area is with price. Um, so I just shot another video, you probably saw it a couple weeks ago as far as the, the three pricing strategies. Sometimes what will happen, especially in the market we're in, uh, sellers will overprice their properties and what ends up happening if the property doesn't sell immediately, you know, kind of finding that needle in the haystack type buyer, uh, the property will sit, uh, you lose that initial buzz that a property gets when it first hits the, hits the market and then usually you eventually end up having to make a price reduction but even with that you've lost some of the zest, you've lost some of the the, the excitement, the fear of loss from buyers just because the property's been on the market um, you know, for some time. And sometimes even with the price reduction, a buyer still has you know, an opinion or, or, uh, of your property in their mind and they've kind of either moved on and found another house or um, it, it just it doesn't grab the same attention um, when you do a price reduction as when you first hit the market. Um, and then last um, area where you need to make a good, first good impression is timing. And when I say timing, um, specifically talking about the time, the, the day of the week that you actually hit the market. Uh, and this is a lot more important than, than most people will even realize. Uh, typically what we'll see, the majority of the real estate activity, uh, both online through research uh, we found, but also through showings, uh, which I've just noticed from my personal experience, is gonna happen Thursdays through Sundays. Uh, typically folks, you know, most folks work a nine to five, most folks work Monday through Friday. 
Typically, folks don't start thinking about uh, real estate if they're in the search for, for a home until you know Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You know, Thursday is kind of that day where people start thinking about the weekend. You know, they've kind of they've been at work for a few days and they're starting to look forward to what they're going to be doing uh, in the weekend. And generally, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday are slower days in real estate just because folks are, are back in work, they've got kids' activities, and all those things. Uh, so what happens sometimes is I'll see folks where they list the property on you know a Monday or a Tuesday. Uh, which the problem with that is you're, you're losing that opportunity to, to, to create that excitement, create that urgency in a buyer's mind because buyers, a lot of buyers just aren't even thinking about uh, real estate un, un, until they get later in the week. So either the property sits there for a few days and you've kind of lost that opportunity or potentially even worse, yeah, maybe the you get a couple buyers that uh, get interested in, maybe even get an offer on a Monday or Tuesday and now you're somewhat of in an awkward situation where, um, you know, do I take this offer that uh, is in my hand now that I don't want to lose in case I don't get another offer, or do I hold out for the weekend where I've already got multiple showings lined up, but potentially they may not amount to anything, so do I take the one in the hand or the two in the bush? Uh, so a good way to avoid that is just to list the property on Thursday. I, I found Thursdays to be my best days. Uh, you kind of hit people when they're in the mode of looking at real estate, and by listing on Thursday, you allow enough time. Once the, the property is listed in the multiple listing service, you allow enough time for it to syndicate out to all the other real estate you know, websites by Thursday afternoon at the latest Friday morning. Um, and that's been the best day and probably by far the worst time uh, of, of, uh, of the week that I've seen uh, for properties to hit the market is probably like on a Saturday or Sunday. And unfortunately, I just saw one that, that posted on a, on a Saturday and it sold, but I wonder if they could have sold for a lot more, a lot more just because Honestly, by, by Saturday morning, most folks already have their uh, their properties picked out that they're going to see over the weekend. A lot of agents have already kind of cemented their schedules. So even if a property pops up, they may not be able to fit it in. Uh, so as far as time goes, Thursday, uh, by far the best day, Thursday morning, uh, to list the property, to make a price uh, reduction, do anything that you need to do um, in regards to uh, to a listing. So I hope uh, I hope this helped. I hope this may, helps you to make a better uh, first impression when you sell uh, your next home. I look forward to seeing you guys next week on the next tip.